Tangmere Military Aviation Museum was excellent. The volunteers have really outdone themselves to relay that history and bring it to life. After the Battle of Britain, the Tangmere Wing went on the offensive and they were led by the legless ace, Douglas Bader, but he flew from a satellite aerodrome, a short but pleasant drive just up the road at West Hampnett, and this is better known today as Goodwood Racing Circuit. We're on the control tower, which is obviously the, the airfield as it was, yeah, although not, this might not have been here during the Battle of Britain because it was a satellite airfield then. Um, yes. And the perimeter track, the racetrack that you see now, yep. was actually under trees. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I was, I was being told by the guys at Tangmere that when, when the German photo interpreters looked down, all they saw was a field uh, because the perimeter track, the only bit that was tarmac because it was a grass strip, yeah. was, was under the trees. And all the aeroplanes were in dispersals under the trees. So they looked down didn't see anything. Yes. And, and this is where Bard have actually flew from. So there you go. There's the Spitfire. Absolutely awesome. That's incredible. Look at that. Ah, how beautiful is that? And your job's to fly these. You, 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 no, I don't, I don't fly them. I polish the windows. So, Goodwood Aerodrome is also the home of the Boltley Flight Academy, where you can not only learn to fly in a classic aircraft, but you can go on my dream flight in a Spitfire, like this lucky birthday boy. You've got the gift for your birthday, oh, you've just landed. What was that like? What was it, well, what was it like taking off? What was it like strapping in? Because you strap on a Spitfire, it, you know? It was tight as it should be. You felt safe because the guys knew what they were doing. When you're waiting to take off and the engine power's building up, Yes. Where do you feel yeah. that? Where do you feel it? Do you feel it in your gut? Do you feel it in your bum? Because it is, you know, is it seat of the pants flying? Is it? The flight was fantastic. The pilot, he took, took it, he said, would you like to fly the aircraft? I said, <laughs> is the Pope Catholic? <laughs> so mm. I just put my hands on, on the stick and it is so responsive. It's absolutely yeah. incredible. A little tiny movement to the left and uh -huh. we're going. It's such a fantastic yeah. experience. Everyone describes it as a pilot's aeroplane. I mean, it's it, like built around the pilot and, and you don't sit in it, you wear it. I mean, how, how do you feel when you're flying it? Do, do, uh, uh, yeah. you, you do forget you're in an aeroplane. You, you, it's really difficult to, to, uh, to describe. But I fly the Mustang as well, for example. And, and, yes. and the Mustang, you, when you get out of it, you're very aware you've been flying it because your arms hurt at yeah. high speed. It, it takes a lot to move it around the sky. Right. And you're in a big sort of a big area, um, yeah. whereas the Spitfire is just fingertip touch. Yeah. You're in a little bubble, your head's out of the top of that bubble, and you just look and you forget what your hands are doing, and you forget what your feet are doing. Yeah. You just, it's kind of like walking. Newer aeroplanes will go, oh no, I don't want you to do that much bank, or I don't want you to pull that much G, yeah. I'll stop you doing that. Yeah. Um, whereas this will let you do whatever you want, and that is an incredible freedom. 